people who have besieged in true in true sense of it right i have a caller okay hang in there for me sir all right i'll, I'll connect you in a minute interest uh, sense of it there's been atrocities committed by the nigerian government nigerian military nigerian police dss state governments in eastern part of nigeria most of these things are documented all right and the victims the survivors of all these atrocities their family members a lot of them actually want their pound of flesh they wanted a special force or another force that is more bigger than this old nigeria forces intimidating harassing and even killing the easterners to come on board so that they can show these people right that uh, you know uh, they don't have monopoly of uh, violence and because of that this force of uh, external force or something like that that could defend the people against the oppressive ones right was meant to in their mind to neutralize forces like this imagine these guys who are actually like not easterners so they are not easterners but many many like this are in the eastern part of nigeria terrorizing the people so people like this are among the reasons why simon nepa gained notoriety in eastern nigeria because to them they needed a force to chase the guys like this away. Hey, as far as Tokwene, 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 Susan, eh, Ogamari, I went on the Madiana, as far as eh, Agane, eh, as far as Smogu, to Boropi, Boropi, to Lilu, aka Dila Mankind, and I go die to where my God called me. You not get us one be where you never be before. No be lie. Go away, Zabro. Allah <laughs> Gakumu jana me du guri walaish. Ko ache uwar samadan che muganta chot. Ko aza buru abar che kara so do uwasa. So people like that, they were shipped to eastern part of Nigeria. Their job is to terrorize the eastern part of Nigeria. There are others that were also sponsored by Asari Dokupig. Now, all these guys exist in Eastern Nigeria, terrorizing the people. So the people of Eastern Nigeria, especially those who are living abroad, seeing all these kind of videos and all that, they wanted, they wanted someone who can actually terrorize these guys out of Eastern Nigeria. So that was where Simon pitched himself in as the right candidate to, to, to scare them of Eastern Nigeria. But rather than go after these ones alone, they started going after civilians that they considered as sabo saboteurs. And this became the Achilles heel, where if you are living abroad and you are Igbo, and you condemn the atrocities of uh, his BLA terrorists, there will be members of your family or members of your community that will go and tell them that they know your family house, they know your family members. Some of them will threaten you online. They will threaten you and they will carry it out. So because of this, a lot of Igbos don't want to touch anything, Simon. Here you get. They don't want to say anything because they don't want to be targeted or killed. Some of them, when they return to Nigeria, they don't go to the eastern part of Nigeria. They will stay in Lagos or stay somewhere else. Abuja. This was how they spread the terror. So when you see his followers on Mayagun's diary political, trying to sound sanctimonious, trolling, it's just kind of like a, a true picture of uh, cowards, irresponsible loonies who don't want to take responsibility. We all know 
that there are third parties, this, these interested parties terrorizing the East. So the point is that when you begin to terrorize your own uh, people, then you've lost your plot. That's the point. You've lost the plot. Here, add that view. My good general. Yes, sir. Baba. You are blessed, my brother. Amen. Thank you, sir. We will continue to pray for you, and the Lord will continue to answer your prayers. Amen. Oh, thank you very much. It shall always be well with you. He say, <laughs> my good before now, hmm. I want to believe that it has to do with the way people reason and behave. Hmm. But I was so so wrong because I later realized that stupid people grow old. Do. Also, foolish people grow old. That is right. Now, for someone like uh, uh what is his name again? Marison Moluka. I follow what was saying on the on the the platform, mm. and I gave it I gave it to him at the time. Mm. You know, these people. I I am so sorry, and I'm not even sorry to say it. He said he lives in in uh, America. He does. Yeah, but some of them left Nigeria, but Nigeria did not leave them. Hmm. So their sense of reasoning is damn too low. We are here when you are talking about uh, Kolu, and everybody knows you are you a pure Yoruba man. Yes, like Kolu, and you didn't hide behind the finger to. To say it the way it is. Yes. But now he has the God to tell you not to talk about Samaripa, not to talk about this. I mean, before now, we are all waiting for December 2nd. Is that not what they said? That they, that they're going to declare Biafra by 2nd of December. Uh, if you have been following him, right, it won't be the first time. In fact, if yeah, I am right, I know. it will be the it will be the third time that he is declaring Biafra, though. Mm -hmm. But they are, you know, they are, like, uh, they are following as well. Yeah. the December second, redeclaration. Yeah. It's not declaration. It's declaration. Declaration. Redeclaration. Uh -huh. Well, we are not surprised. My egun, ihori hola kalawa ti mo mo inti eti insho gay. Let me tell them, sir. They were, they, they are, they are, they are being cake. Has been so naked when the the the, the moi moi of uh, my own moi moi has been doing uh, yeah. fashion. I mean, fashion. So we we know the that. will sit down and watch my videos. He got so convinced that man, this guy is unique. That I have to do a program to tell them that you know, guys, go and listen to that guy. My go and listen to him. Go and listen to him. You should be listening to him. Oh my God! So well, it's not now that somebody is going to say that uh, I am jealous of one Nepa. I'm jealous of, of who? <laughs> who? Oh my God! Well, some mothers do have them, anyways. So my it good, is, my brother, is, do, yeah, keep doing what you are doing. We we love you, and we will continue to pray for you. Amen. Thank yeah. you so much, sir. Eh? We are out of. You are highly welcome. I'm going to go get yeah. ready for the evening. All right. My Thank brother. you so much, Bless everyone, uh, for your time. And again, you are not on Mayegun's diary political. Eh, to oh, I mean, I, I keep saying this, and I mean it. All right? You do not owe me anything. Okay? Or if you do find me truly interesting and agrees that except if you have a bit of a support for the kind of people I talk about, except you have anything for them, you shouldn't ever be angry with whatever I say. Because when I say anything, it is not because I, I mean, I don't, I don't, uh, what do you call it? I don't uh, uh, defame people. You know what that means? Like making up stories about people or lying against them. I don't. You'll be one of those uh, low lives, low, low mentally, uh, you know, people to actually take offense in whatever I do or say. And I have a bunch of them on my Egon's diary political. I do. 
there are those who felt so much like I shouldn't expose the chances, the opportunists using the name Yoruba and Yoruba Nation for their own selfish agenda, for monetary gain and the rest. They don't like me and I don't like them. There are those who feels like, yeah, a Yoruba man, a druggy, the drug addict, the drug, uh, you know, the drug pusher, the flumbu, is a Yoruba man that if I had home training, I shouldn't be calling Tifnumbu names. Yeah, people have come to defend the people they like, which I don't like. And they've used that to call me different names too. But I will keep reminding you, I am not responsible for most of, uh, for, for all, not even most, for all the atrocities happening in that contraption. Everybody agrees that Nigeria get problem. What everybody is not agreeing on is that uh, there are people responsible for that problems. And if you want to mention the problems and the people responsible for the problems, you have to mention their names. And that's what I do. So if you are abusing me, it's because you are angry. I'm exposing some certain things. That's why you are abusing me. But you can't abuse me because I am responsible for your miserable existence. No, you can't. You can't say I am not taking criticism. What criticism should come from you? The victim of a rotten system. What is the criticism that should come my way? I am supposed to be unblemish. Because I am. I am unblemish. Yeah, I've got no stains when it comes to things that affect you. And you only come for me the moment you feel like I am talking about the people you probably love, respect, even if they are criminals. And I welcome that. You should also admit that. The reason why I, I don't like this Mayegu, why? Why would you not like Mayegu? That's the question. Oh, because Mayegu said something about, not you, I didn't say anything about you. I said something about the people you are a closest supporter of. And because of that, you are looking for what to say about me. And what would you say about me? You are so proud. You think you know everything. No, I never said I know everything. Right? You are so proud. You are so arrogant. Okay, so is there anything bad in being arrogant or proud? So telling you that you can't continue to be a closest supporter of uh, criminals, whether they are your pastor or so, or your imam or, or whoever they are to you. So if you take offense in what I do or what I say on Mayogun's diary political, it is because you are offended by the people I speak about, which is okay. You should admit to that too. Don't come around and begin to try to call me names that are of what I am not. Anyway, we shall see you again. This is just a... Uh, this is just the beginning. Eh, fellow Nigerians, this is just the beginning. Fellow Nigerians, this is just the beginning. And on that note, we draw the curtain. I shall see you later this evening. If you are still going to be here, or maybe you probably unsubscribe. For your own mental, see, for your own mental uh, health, right? It is ideal for you to stop following Mayegun for your own good. But if you stay on Mayegun's diary political to troll me, I don't need depression. And I don't think both is going to be good for you. Because for me, I don't share a pick. Once I pick on something, I'll speak my mind. You are free to disagree, 100% free to disagree. But if you come around to abuse me and do all of that, fine. Throw your, uh, you know, you can throw your tantrum, okay? But the moment you begin to cause nuisance in my comment section, then we'll get rid of you. That is not intolerance. It simply means we will not tolerate your nuisance. Hmm? Thank you. I'll see you later. Good night.
o fo long so e ba ki le loto olododo ilu oja ilu momo ni iwo sa ma sora ko si mo beru mo ta le ri bo ni segun le ka won momo fi se ra won ni o ti deun ti won gbo do si mo be e e fo ogo lo mo ba de ro ta je o gbo do je o ti do ba lori abinu eni ko si mo kuya ai si wolu ni eni ke igbo di eyin la para o o ko eni to ba don wa ka mu ma ye o ti je Bobo ojelu e sun raji o eni ba ti se yi to ya ki won se omo ba de ro ni fi won ni ran o aye bo ti pe gogo oje 